Hi everybody, thank you for watching. This is the second video about SEO Hero. In the last video I introduced SEO Hero and the reason why you should use it to optimize your content. Now, today I wanted to go a little bit deeper inside SEO Hero with an example of search query. So we will take a look to the results of SEO Hero and uh, we will discover together the meanings uh, of the various columns that you can see in the results table. So the key, phrases, the key phrase I have searched for, our example, is how to optimize your content. So let's go and let's see how it looks like. We're in. As you can see, we have two tables. The difference between the left table and the right table is that on the right one, there isn't any key term that is a single word. In fact, all the terms that you can see here are composed by two or three words. So that's the only difference between these two tables. And let's discover the meanings of this various column. And let's start with DF here. So. DF belongs for document frequency. And if we take a look at the line number four and the key term Google, that has a DF of 88%, that means that SEO Hero found the term Google on 88% of the analyzed web pages. So we can understand that, uh, that the term Google is a term that is very, very, very popular for that search query. Let's continue with the next column and the, um, and the W that belongs for word. Here is the number of word on the web pages in which this term was found. So obviously that's a mean. Let's go on with occur that's, um, that belongs for occurrences is the number of time a word is repeated uh, on the pages in which it appears. So let's go with TF that belongs for term frequency. So how, uh, how we can say TF is the ratio um, between the number of time a word is repeated on one page and the total number of words on that web pages. So in, it can help you to get to understand how a word is important on a web page. So let's go, let's continue with HTML. HTML is a pretty cool feature that helps you to understand in which HTML tags a word, um, a word sorry, uh, was used and how many time it was used on each HTML tag. That's very, very cool to see in, one, in just one place, how your competitors are optimizing their content. So let's continue with TXT and the little icon you can see here, clicking on it, you just get the context. So we have here the list of all the phrases in which the term Google was found. That's very, very, very interesting because it can help you to understand better the relationship between uh, a, a Latin term like Google and your targeted keyword. So you understand better the relationship and the context it, in which it was used. So it can help you to, to, to integrate it better in your content. And uh, it can help you to get um, it help you in getting new ideas to write a better content. So that's a very pretty cool uh, feature. And let's finish now with uh, LT that belong for long tail. Um, that's another cool feature that can give you this time keyword IDs. So I clicked on keyword and I see those keywords, target keyword, use keyword, keywords in two, which keywords, right keywords, relevant keywords. Obviously I can select which uh, I'm interested in. And that is 
another kind of help to integrate better your um, keywords on your web pages. So I think we were in, we did it. So in the next video, we will see more use cases and, uh, and more features. So please don't forget to subscribe to SEO Hero channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. And I thank thanks you for watching. Bye-bye.